What's up, guys? Yeah, all right. I just started dating for the first time in my life. Sounds weird, because I'm 30 years old, but I've never dated before. My whole thing was I'd go from a one-night stand to a two-year relationship. That was my shit, you know? I'd wake up in the morning like, you have sheets? I love you, let's make this work, let's do this. But I'm trying something new now. Realized I'm an amazing first date. Great first date, you know? I'm charming, charismatic. I'm good looking from the neck up at least, you know? Down here's kind of fucked, but this is all you need for the first date, you know? I bring my first date to like one of my many local spots. You know, one of those places where everyone knows your name. They're like, hey Morgan, what's up? The bartender just throws you a drink. You don't even have to order it. She thinks it's because you're popular, but it's really because you're an alcoholic. Silly date, you don't know anything. <laughs> Amazing first date, horrible second date. Very bad second date because all the charm and charisma is worn off and I just get blackout drunk and scream out all my insecurities. I'm like, I never met my mother! My dad was an extreme racist! And then I pass out. I wake up and she's gone. I'm like, what do I gotta do to get a third date? I realize what I gotta do is you gotta lock the date down before all the bullshit comes out, you know? Like I should have asked that girl to marry me in that hour she thought I was romantic before she realized those people in the bar, they weren't my friends, they were just other alcoholics. <laughs> There's no good dating advice out there either. On the internet, it's just such horrible dating advice. It's so obvious. It's like, yeah, show up on time. Hold the chair out. Don't punch your date repeatedly in the face. I'm like, who doesn't know this? Come on. <laughs> they even have dating advice on askmen.com. Which is ridiculous, because why would you ask men anything when there's Google? That doesn't make any, any sense to me. My dad was a baker his whole life. I wouldn't even ask him which yeast to use in a sourdough. I'd call him up like, hey dad, I'm making a sourdough. He's like, the Confederacy will rise again! I'm like, why the fuck do I ever call you? I got Google right here. Askmen.com actually did have some good dating advice. It was like, keep the first date to 45 minutes, you know? You know, save your racist dad stuff till she knows you a little bit better, you know? I'd go one further. I'd say to keep the date to 45 minutes, and I also say that all first dates should start with sex. Because that's like, what, after you had sex, that's when you're most honest, you know? Like you're there, you're vulnerable, you're naked, you can be honest, you're like, oh, your nipple's fucked up, that's weird, you know? You can. You can be honest, and you'll still keep it to 45 minutes. <laughs> you know, you have 20 minutes of sex, 20 minutes of chit-chat, and five minutes to get ready and get the fuck out. Then you don't waste anyone's evening. And that's pretty much all you need to know in a relationship, is how good they are in bed, how good they are at conversation, and how quick they get ready. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Everything else, but I don't know. Don't come to me for dating advice. I suck at it. I suck at relationships. I've been cheated on before. Don't feel so bad. I'm kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> I actually took the cheating very well. When I found out, I, uh, I just smashed all her possessions and threw myself down some stairs. I took it pretty well. <laughs> pretty well. No, I actually didn't even do that. I was very mature. I, when I found out, I just left. What shocked both of us, because I like to snap. You should see me at a Subway sometimes. <laughs> like, what do you mean you're out of egg salad? Who orders egg salad at Subway? And then they have to carry me out. <laughs> but I didn't do that. I was mature, I just let, when I found out, I just left, you know? I took a couple days off, let my emotions calm down. And then a couple days later, I sent her a message, an email where I was like, listen, no matter what happens, I'll always love you. I hope one day we can be friends, but I can't see you for the next little while, because if I see you, I'm just gonna cuss you out. And I wanted to sign it the bigger person, because that's how I felt, you know? <laughs> but you can't be the bigger person and also be like, nah, 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 like that doesn't work. So I just signed it, Morgan sent it off, felt good about myself. Two seconds later, she sends me an email, please cuss me out, I need this for closure. 
And as a comedian, oh, I live for days like this. I was so amped up. I felt like an NFL player going into the Super Bowl. I just started banging my head against the wall, like, let's do this! I ran outside, I kicked over a cyclist. Ran back upstairs. Got in front of my computer, and you know you're about to type some hateful shit when your fingers cock back from the keyboard like a foot? And they curl up like you're about to Street Fighter Hajduk in that keyboard? Like, I fucking hate you, I hate you! Just wrote like the most hateful shit ever. Just like leaned back from my, from my computer, smoked a cigarette, jerked off, felt good about myself. But I didn't send it, because I'm not an idiot. Instead, I just deleted that. I sent, listen, I'm not gonna cuss you out because that's not good for either one of us. I'll always love you. I hope one day we can be friends. And then I signed it the bigger person because I fucking won. I smashed my computer because I fucking won. And it feels so good to be the bigger person when you're definitely not the bigger person. Thank you guys so much. My name is Morgan O'Shea.